In this video, I'll take you through how I ran wires from the engine bay to the rear of my Forerunner for my dual battery system. I uh, placed a fuse block in the back to run some accessories. My second battery is going to be in this area here, and this plug is going to connect the second battery to the fuse block. So let's go back there and show you what it looks like. Here's a view of the inside with the fuse box in place and the USB panel with the voltage meter in there. I only have three accessories wired out of six possible with this particular block. I've put wiring for my fridge, a rear dash cam, and uh, this USB voltmeter cigarette lighter combo. Now I'll explain the process and show how I got here. I'll be running the wires into the cab through this grommet. I'll just clip off this little nipple over here and pass the wires into the cab from there. The front passenger side of the Forerunner. Show you where the wires are going to come in. See in the footwell, there's this little plastic nut we'll take out. We'll take this panel off and should be able to see where the wires come in from the firewall in the back of there. I'm also going to have to remove these trim pieces on both the front passenger side and the rear passenger side and we'll be running the wires under here there's other factory wires um, there's a loom and some clips that hold this stuff in place so we'll just put our wires through there so we're inside the rear we may have to loosen this trim on the pillar uh, simply matter of unbolting a 14 millimeter bolt there and prying this loose uh, this trim piece is going to come out and then I'm going to fish the wire into this compartment over the wheel well which is difficult to see in this shot but whatever let's just get started removing the trim It's hard to get the camera in there, but all you do is just unscrew this thing. This piece is very loose, so we should be able to just... That right there is where the, the grommet that the wires are going to pass through. The last piece of trim to remove is this little panel here. I showed in another video how to get this thing out because it's pretty much screwed in but all right now we're ready to snip off the little rubber nipple that's on the grommet in order to feed the wires through since we've removed all of our trim pieces done. I just attached a smaller wire, just tape it up to both of the wires, and I'm going to send that through and hope that it's enough to pull the whole thing through. After pulling it through, I'm just going to give it a little bit of extra help from this side. There we go. Alright, so a little 
trick that I saw online is to use some dish soap. So I'll just put a little drop of dish soap on there. The wires are going through pretty easily now. As I feel them getting tougher to pull through, I'll just stop and add a little bit more dish soap as needed. I use this chart from Blue C to figure out the sizes of all the wires I'm going to need. Alright, as you can see, the red and black wires there are the ones that we're bringing in from the engine bay. I've routed them along the same channel that the factory wires comb down. And now there's a little bit of a blockage here under the pillar. So we're going to see if there's a way to just bring them across without having to take the pillar off at all. Alright, after playing around for a while, I'm just tired of trying to get that thing through it's not going to go so cables run I've got at least four feet of extra uh, I started with 20 feet so a 16 foot run would probably do it I'm gonna be attempting to put my blue feet blue C fuse box in this space over here and uh, I'll drill a hole for the wires to come through and sit in there I'm going to be removing this cover that you'd normally use to access the tail light bulb. On the panel cover itself, I'm going to be installing a USB voltmeter combination. And I've also run a wire for a camera uh, that I'll be installing at some point in the future to record out of the back.
control some of it. a few small lengths of some solid core wire that I'm going to fish through the hole into this little compartment. Tying these two together onto the end of this wire. Alright, time to reinstall things. Here's the kick plate. And on mine, when I was removing it, this little metal clip came off of here. This holds the weather stripping in, so I just bent this tab in a little bit. tab. Bent that tab so that it makes a better connection. 
So it just goes there and you know, it'll clip into the weather stripping. Also, note, this is the primary clip. This right here is the primary clip holding the thing in. Obviously the four white clips go into these holes here. But there's also two clips on each side that go into the other plastic panels on either side of it. And these all kind of just, you know, clip into the uh, factory wiring channel. Or the factory wiring hold downs. Alright, last thing left to do is going to be sealing up the area that we sent the wires through. I'm cleaning this area around the grommet as well as I can. I'm going to be sealing it off. I'm going to use a black silicone all around the wires and in between them at that grommet so moisture can't get into the cap from this point. One thing that I didn't show in the video is putting the wires into the split loom and zip tying them to factory points. Uh, you need to secure the wires, make sure that they don't rattle around. And the split loom just makes it look nicer. It's cheap to buy a big roll of it from Harbor Freight, so it's worth doing that. And this is the end of the wiring video.